and another one method it is annual equivalent method annual equivalent method provides a basis for a measuring investment worth by determining equal payment on an annual basis there are three criteria annual equivalent value for interest i is greater than 0 then you can accept the investment annual equivalent for interest i is equal to 0 then it is remain indifferent to the investment annual equivalent value for interest i is less than 0 then you have to reject that investment so these are the decision rules we have to follow the problem now we are going to solve one problem a company has a three proposals for expanding its business operations the details are as follows it is alternative a1 alternative a2 alternative a3 now initial cost uh, to start up the business is 25 lakh 20 lakh and 30 lakh respectively then they give annual revenue value and its life for three alternatives each alternative has a insignificant salvage value at the end of its life assuming an interest rate of 15 percentage compounded annually find the best alternative for expanding the business operations of the company using the annual equivalent method this is the problem we are going to solve first we have to solve for alternative 1 it is a1 given initial cost p is 25 lakh annual revenue is 8 lakh life is 10 years interest rate 15 percentage compounded annually to find ye it is annual equivalent annual equivalent for 15 percentage this is the thing we are going to find now we have to draw the cash flow diagram for 10 years for 10 years we have to draw the cash flow diagram now from the given data annual revenue they are talking about revenue so this is revenue dominated cash flow diagram now 8 lakh is the revenue annual revenue for 10 years so divide this into 10 and give it as 8 lakh for 10 years first starting amount principal amount is 25 lakh it is given it is a expenditure so i gave this arrow mark downward this 8 lakh for 10 years is income so i gave arrow mark upward this is coming under revenue dominated cash flow diagram now we have to solve formula is annual equivalent a1 it is a1 is for alternative 1 for 15 percentage is equal to minus 25 lakh because i am going to use the symbol minus because this is revenue dominated this 25 lakh is expenditure so you have to use minus symbol so this minus 25 lakh into a bar p comma 15 percentage for 10 years plus 8 lakh you have to add this 8 lakh it is a revenue for 10 years so final answer for alternative 1 is uh, rupees 3 lakh rupees 3 lakh 1750 similarly for alternative 2 its initial cost is 20 lakh annual revenue is 6 lakh life is 10 years interest rate is 15 percentage compounded annually to find the annual equivalent value for 15 percentage first we have to draw the cash flow diagram for alternative 2 similar to the previous case we are going to draw the cash flow diagram similar procedure to solve we have to solve it for annual equivalent for 15 percentage it is minus 20 lakh a bar p comma 15 percentage comma 10 plus 6 lakh 6 lakh is the revenue generated by alternative a2 final answer is 2 lakh 1400 now we are going for a3 it is alternative 3 initial cost is 30 lakh annual revenue is 10 lakh then we are going for alternative 3 its principal amount its initial cost is 30 lakh and annual revenue is 10 lakh life is 10 years interest is 15 percentage compounded annually to find annual equivalent value for a3 equal to 4 lakh 2100 so the result is the annual equivalent net return of alternative a3 is more than a1 and a2 so the company should select alternative a3 
So this is the result. We are going to decide like this. So this is the procedure to solve annual equivalent method for cash flow. And next is uh, we are going to see rate of return method. This method takes into account the total earnings expected from an investment proposals over its full lifetime. The method is called rate of return method because it uses the accounting concept of profit. That is income after depreciation and the tax. It should be noted that the payback period method and also the discounted cash flow methods make use of cash flow of project whereas uh, the rate of return method is based in profit so we are going to solve for rate of return method we are going to solve a problem consider the following cash flow of a project they gave year for a 5 years cash flow is minus 10000 4000 5500 cash flow is minus 10000 4000 4500 5000 5500 6000 respectively for 5 years now the given data is initial outlay annual revenue annual increased in a revenue it is g and life of the project it is uh, 5 years 5 years they gave now we are going to solve for rate of return of the project before that uh, we have to draw the cash flow diagram the cash flow diagram is shown here it is revenue they gave a revenue so it is a revenue dominated cash flow now the rate of return method the given data is a1 it is 4000 rupees g is 500 a1 is 4000 rupees it is a starting value for first year and uh, g G is 500 see here from 4000 it is increased to 4500 then 5000 then 5500 6000 the increasing rate is 500 so this is the value of G it is rupees 500 the annual equivalent of the positive cash flow of uniform gradient series is given by a is equal to a1 plus g into a bar g comma i comma n is a formula now the formula for uh, present worth of uh, this uh, now the formula for present worth of the whole diagram is given by the present worth of 10 percentage is equal to minus 10,000 minus 10,000 plus 4,000 plus 500 into a bar g comma i is 10 percentage we took 10 percentage then n is 5 years into p bar a comma 10 percentage comma 5 it is for 5 years we are going to take 10 percentage 15 percentage then 20 percentage 25 percentage starting from 10 you have to take then you have to check starting from 10 percentage the next you have to take 15 percentage then 20 percentage this present worth now for 10 percentage we obtain the present worth of 8594.06 rupees the next is for 15 percentage you can obtain 6296.39 rupees similarly for 20 percentage you can obtain 4415.44 rupees Similarly for 25, then 30 percentage, 35, you can find starting from 10. This is a common rule. Then add to one condition. See here, it is a present worth of 40 percentage. The symbol will be changed. It is, its direction will be changed. Until this, you have to work. The present worth direction is changed, the symbol is changed. We are going to stop with this 40, with this 40 percentage. Now we have to solve for i, it is a percentage. The rate of return of the project is 35 percentage because 35 is a positive value. It is a final positive value we are getting. So 35 percentage plus 458.42. This is a value for 35 percentage. 458.42 by 458.2 minus the minus 
477.3 is the value we obtain into the increased rate is 5 percentage so we are going to give this 5 percentage so finally you can get the percentage of 37.45 percentage it is the rate of return of the project this is a final value this is a procedure to solve the problem of rate of return method thank you for watching thank you very much